than this daring venture into the unknown. Hi guys, Mr. Wayne here. This video is going to be a tutorial on the beginning parts of this game. Now, I've played a couple of hours and it's gone from PC to console, so the controls are eh, you know, they're difficult to get used to, but once you get the hang of the things of what buttons do what, it's going to make life a lot easier. Um, I want to say thanks to Dave's for the review copy. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start off with some conversation, but uh, we can skip past this. It's something you can look at if you decide to play the game. It's more the backstory, really. Okay, so this is your city, guys. This is where you're going to be selling and creating your plants. So let's go into the building, the family residence. And what we're going to do, again, we'll skip all of this. Uh, it's just about their father passed away. Okay, so here we go. The first thing we're going to do is we have to get a light going. Now, I do, I would actually prefer a kind of a mouse pointer to this because it's difficult to see what is actually selected. But for now, we're just going to craft, well, actually purchase a light. Then we're going to head down to the bottom left corner over there. And we're going to get our Reggie going, which is our standard strain with the standard soil. And we're going to start growing. We're going to do the same for all of them. Start growing. Here we go. There it is. Now, the navigation on the console is you hold down R2. And then you can see top, top left, left, bottom left, that kind of thing. This is where I think a mouse pointer would be infinitely better. Because I'm trying to select this home over here in this corner can get a bit irritating. But uh, for now, we're going to select this bar down here and we're going to fast forward. Now, you can fast forward yeah. using R1, which took me a while to figure out. But oh, I'm missing some things already. So we're going to pause that right away. Now, the benefits for trimming and watering. What you want to do is... Oh, yeah, I can't trim it just yet. So we're going to water, water... Oh, no, we have to put it on uh, normal speed. So trimming it like... Yeah. Always water it first, then trim. And if you get a perfect trim, you can see you can water it again straight away. So we're going to water, hold it down, get a perfect trim, and then water again. If you do it the other way around, you'll only get one watering chance. So that's tip number one, really. Now, I played this game, like I said, a couple of hours, and I pretty much failed every time. And uh, I took it a bit slower, uh, not recording, and decided that... Uh, well, not decided, realized that you actually had to take better care of the actual plants themselves at the beginning before things start becoming more automated. As you can see here, um, also, doing this correctly, it's not actually trimming the plant, it's training it. So the plants will require less attention, the quality will be better, and the quality will increase as well. As you can see, the second you water it, it says 5 of 15. So that's your quality. It's 5 of 15 at the moment. Now, we can't adjust any soils or anything. Um, so at the moment this is as best as we can do it now if you look just underneath and let me just water and trim again as we go water trim water train at least if you look under the bar so you get the green time and you get the little uh metal or the the badge kind of like a horse riding badge the green bar the solid green bar is where you need to be and the light green bar just after that is where my plant is so the light part represents how much ahead of what you need to do you actually are so again we're going to trim this down and that was a good one and that was a good one and that was a good one so again i'm going to hold r2 for the console and i'm going to move to the left over here and it's going to tell me what it is so half is 100 grams of sleep so let's go do that now we can fast forward a little bit i'm a lot more wary now of fast forwarding because it messed me up last time so all we can do is trim and get the plants as highest quality as possible and this will all come into play a little bit later so let's fast forward again now they've been trimmed and watered as much as they can be as you can see they're kind of growing the second they finish growing we are going to go down to normality speed come on baby and i am enjoying it i just there's some certain things that uh, are not very obvious and uh, you have to go to the tutorials. Obviously, tutorials are fine, but uh, it doesn't explain it well on screen. Now, another quick tip while we're here. If you look at this plant on the far left, look above it. There's like smoke. Well, it's not smoke. It's smell. So that smell is going to increase the chances of police um, actually detecting you and you getting bust. So, in essence, don't leave your plants uh, on a harvesting stage without harvesting them. They will release a smell. So we're going to push. Oh, we're going to just go to normal speed and we're going to harvest that, harvest that and harvest that and we're going to replant straight away again get some monies in there okay so let's do it 
Okay, so it wants me to go sell some, but first we are going to plant these guys. Now, sometimes people would say that you should stagger these so your harvest doesn't come all at once. But at the beginning stage of the game, it's not going to make a much of a difference right now because you have no choice. Okay, let's go sell some stuff. Holding down circle will exit you to the screen right here. Okay, so here we go. You can look over here. I can only select these two buildings, left and right. So I'm going to go to the market over here, push X, and we're going to set up our 500 bucks for our dealer to start dealing. Set up a spot in the marketplace, sorted. Okay, so now we're outside. I can only select two buildings here. We're going to select the marketplace. We're going to head down to the money tab over there. And we're going to push X and then go all the way down. What well, we're going to select it, drop the batch. All we can do is drop the reg in there. If you look on the bottom of the screen, it's actually selecting my stock. I'm going to push, put reg in there just like that. Then we want to head back to our grow room because we want to make sure these are being trained nicely. So I just figured something else out. If I hold down the triangle now, it waters and clips. Cool. And then you can water again afterwards. There we go. So that's going. Let's come outside again. And once we just sell the weed. So over here, people are going to come and purchase. There we go. We just got to wait for them. Vagrants. She's 960 bucks. You could rent a house for that. Anyway, so that is how we do it. So if you look over here, I've, I've sold 120 grams. So maybe this will do it. No, nope, need a little bit more. Let's go check on the plants one more time. So again, I'm holding triangle to water and snip and then pushing triangle again afterwards to rewater it. There we go. That saves one push of the button. Okay, so five of 15. And if you look on the right hand side here, this stuff will unlock a bit later. But uh, at the moment, five of 15 is not bad. So we're gonna head back out to the city and we've got some vagrants there. We wanna purchase some sleep. There we go. Milestone completed. 250 bucks in influence and former MBA student. There's a new strain, Super Lemon Haze, SLH for short. Now, did we buy it? We're not gonna buy it just yet. Let's just have a look at what these guys want. So it tells you about the competition. So have a read through this and uh, you have to deal with competition by adjusting your prices, your quality, that kind of stuff and using force sometimes as well. Okay, expand your grow area. So we're gonna head into the room by pushing square. That wants me to expand over there. So we're going to go, yes, expand for 2,000. Harvest 50 grams of super lemon haze. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sort these planties out first. We're holding down triangle. As you can see, there's no more water icon. They've been watered as much as they can be. So we're going to select a new pot over here. Let's go for this one. And we're going to click on the SLH right there. And unfortunately, at the moment, we've only got the crappy soil. So we'll start growing. And then we're going to do the same for all of these. We're going to get the SLH pumping out here. Oh, no, we don't want to expand. Not that we could. Oh, we need the light as well. Almost messed that up. So get the light and then get the SLH going on the three pots that are there. So again, we're going to come trim down here. Or train. Come on. It's not going to tell me the quality. But I need, if you look at the bottom, it tells you the quality there. Okay, so we don't have anyone purchasing anything. It'll, it'll show us on the left-hand side if there's a notification. Now we just have to wait for these guys to get going. Okay, so we'll speed time up a little bit just until we can do something ourselves over here. Unfortunately, you can't do any of this stuff while it's on pause. Let's just make sure of that. If I go to pause, yeah, it's a bit weird. We be cool if you could just pause it and do everything you need to do. Start the time again. But let's get these guys trained. And we're just going to wait for the clipping to start. And we're just going to hold down triangle and then do the clip. And then, as you can see, the water's almost time to go again. So, water, water, water. Okay, these guys are going well. Uh, let's see, harvest 50 grams. Okay, so let's fast forward. Oh, no, I really wish L L1 was uh, decreased time because R1 is increased time. It would be very similar to other games. Okay, we're going to hold it down. And we're going to get trim and water all in one. And water, water, water. Okay, we're going to fast forward again. Those guys are slowly growing. Here we go. We've got to get rid of these plants as quick as possible. And we're going to replant the Reggie straight away. Okay, if you look up top here, this is where your uh, notifications are. So you can have a look at this and see the... Uh, 
the tutorials and they explain quite detail. Okay, we're going to trim and water the same time here. And as you can see, there's no more water. There we go. Regular Joe wants to buy a product. So for console, I'm going to keep saying what's different on this. Console, you hold down circle and you can exit. All you have to do is hold down triangle. You're actually selling the weed. At first, I didn't quite understand what was going on here with that area. But if you click on this area at the marketplace, you can see in the top right hand corner, we have vagrants, uh, average Joes. Oh, it disappeared. Yeah, so you have vagrants, average Joes and the jocks. So the vagrants, they like, let's have a look. Oh no, we can't see any of this just yet. Yeah, we'll get into that when it actually uh, prompts us to do it. Let's just grab this and go back inside. Sorry guys, I was away for too long there. You can, you can miss an opportunity to do this. Oh shit, I wasn't selecting that one. Well, I didn't want to select that one, should I say. All we can do is trim, train, there we go. Now we have another Vagrant wants to buy a product. Let's go out there quickly and grab that. And our objective again is just to harvest 50 grams. That's fine. Uh, we're going to be able to water these guys soon. Let's go back. And with the Reggie, you can water straight away. With the SLH, you can't. There we go. So I can trim these fellas. Oh, no. Let's keep going. And one more. There we go. Now these guys can be watered again. Let's wait for the clipping to go at the same time. There we go. <laughs> it is cool. I played the game, like I was saying, a couple hours. And I didn't know you could just hold down triangle to do all of it. But as you can see, no more watering required for them. So at the moment, we're having a look at the quality. And over here, that's a bit of a bug in the game. You can't see the quality of this plant at the bottom because the R2 thing is in the way. <laughs> And uh, trust me, they are different all the time. So as you can see here, the light green is way ahead of the dark green on the little bar under the plant, which means I'm doing fantastically. Let's go back and trim these guys. Nothing but perfection. Here we go. Yeah, that's fantastic. It just means the time as well is going to be greatly reduced. So we're going to fast forward until we can do something. We're going to trim some more. I think I want a perfect rung, touch wood. Probably get it wrong now. Okay, so again, they're almost complete. And there we go. We're going to get rid of them as quickly as possible. And plant them again, straight away. Uh, we need that last guy to finish. Come on. Before I do anything else. There we go. Let's harvest him and plant him. Okay, so as you can see here, sell 50 grams of super lemon hay to jock. So we're going to head outside. We're going to head to the marketplace on the left hand side over there. It's difficult not to see. I would much prefer, like I was saying, a mouse pointer for this. But anyway, we're going to have a look over here. We're going to go for the selling. And here at the top, all the way you can uh, cycle through them. Over there is the, are the vagrants. So wait, what was it again? It's saying sell 50 grams of lemon haze to jocks. So we're going to select the marketplace. We're going to head over to the jocks. No, so over here, we're going to select the money. Then head over to the jocks. As you can see, the rating is zero at the moment. As you can see over here, it'll tell you what the jocks like. So they like the super lemon haze. So we're going to need to sell them some super lemon haze and it is rare for them. Come on, go down. This is where it got confusing with the, the buttons and everything. Because there's only one selection over there, the Reggie. I need to click on that. I need to push stop selling this. So I stop selling it. Then I'm going to select drop batch. And down here in the bottom of the screen, guys, I want to select SLH. There we go. So now we have to increase that price to 18 for the objective. And that's it. And there we go. We have someone wanting to buy it straight away. Fantastic. Now it just says gather 7.5k and sell for uh, the jocks over there, which is going to happen anyway. Okay, so this is going much more swimmingly than the, the first time I played. And mainly because I'm taking um, much better care of the actual plants personally. And uh, I feel when you get the employees and stuff like that, um, there's, there's still like a time that they take to actually do the actions, whereas you can do it immediately. And that's what matters uh, at this early stage of the game. Okay, we're going to head outside again because we have some more selling to do. So let's sell that. Get in there. 4.6k of 7. So we're going to go back inside. Anything I can do here, we're going to fast forward for two seconds and then go back. 
We can wait for the trimmings of that, but these ones we can do. Oh, oh, it was still perfect. I, uh, I was looking at something else there. Okay, these guys are now 6 of 15. And obviously the more, more times you get it right... Oh, I didn't water straight away. The more times you get it right, the, the better quality is going to be. And this is what I didn't understand when I was first playing is... What a difference this makes. Taking care of the plants, training them to be better. So let's keep going with these. Because these objectives over here, we will get El Natural. Okay, come on my lovelies. Let's fast forward a little bit more here. And we're going to go back to normal speed. And we're going to trim... Or should I just say train all the time now? There we go. There we go. Perfect so far on all accounts. They're still 615. So I keep forgetting to water straight away for the Reggies. Because they can be. So the quality over here is going up. You see the little dot? That's where the quality is going to get to. Uh, sorry, the dot underneath the plant on the blue bar. There's a dot there. That's where the quality is going to get to when I'm finished. Or when the plant is done. Okay, so we want to just wait until we can water, then trim, or train, then water. Always water first. So bang, because of this, like I said before. Oh, there's no more watering needed for them, so that's okay. They are all watered out. These guys only can be trimmed. And we have some people wanting to buy some product. Let's get outside there and do our civic duty. Okay, 5-5 five, five of 7. Okay, so these guys can only be trimmed now. Let's do that. Oh, my first mess up. Let's have a look here. So this quality, is that less than that one because of that mess up? Who knows? Okay, we're going to fast forward a little bit more until we can trim again. Let's go from the top. something therapeutic about it I'll be honest getting it right each time when the plant moves the leaves go flying hopefully just the leaves okay we have some more product to sell let's get on those streets there we go the closer we we are on five six or seven five so we're just gonna keep going until that pops out and we're gonna fast forward here oh we have some plants getting smelly harvest me sir this is one thing i still don't understand and if you do know please let me know why does it start out with a red bar underneath there because now i have to water it which takes down the red bar and then only the blue bar st starts going up i'd love to know what is the actual reason for that maybe i'll have a look in the the grow stat there for the tutorial but for now we're going to take care of our new bees and we're going to wait till we can trim them at the same time there we go and off we go we wait a couple of seconds and we can water straight away we can just go around and do it afterwards water water and water uh oh plants are getting smelly oh he's not done yet let's wait for him to do to get completed do we want to fast forward now let's just keep it a little bit staggered he's just about finished here there he is there we go so this is still 15 or 5 that's 5 6 okay so we're going to go and sell the stuff now we can have a look at the marketplace here though i don't think it'll let us look at the proper money yet so we're going to go to the jocks and we're selling it for 18 now if you look on the top right hand corner at the jocks picture there's a little two in the star that means he's rated this weed two stars now this comes into play later when you have to um, actually compete with other suppliers then uh, who obvious weed is the best i mean your could be your weed could be a little bit less quality or have a little bit less quality than their weed but yours could be cheaper so it kind of evens it out but again we'll get into that in a little bit uh a little bit later at least let's just get this objective done how close are we we're on 7388 here we go oh no they need help and water straight away yeah i like this get into the rhythm of this the second you finish trimming and oh i did the wrong one oh i was watching the other one see there i can't water it again now so that is going to reduce the quality of that plant and i haven't quite figured out by how much but i've only messed up once or twice or twice quality is still pretty good six of 15 here we go the second we get some sales to do we're going to go do that instantaneously because there we go that is why 
very well. Give him kite. Oh my god, that's such a funny stand-up. Help on the way. Okay, the Northern Lights. There we go, that is a new strain. Now, it costs five grand. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to have a little look around. So we're going to say okay to that. Oh, another one, Granddaddy Purple. Right, this is just explaining uh, the competition. Something you can look at as well. And we're going to increase the quality of our product and so on and so forth. So we're going to just go to the pause button here quickly. Now, we do have other strains. So if you look at the bottom of the screen, we've got some NI and GDP. So we need to go to the marketplace over here and see if any one of these guys here actually want it. These guys, the Reggies will always be the bums. They always have that and they actually bring in quite a bit of profit. Now, these guys, if you push L button in, it's going to give you what they like. They like Granddaddy Purple. So there is a market for Granddaddy Purple. Now, the other one is Northern Lights. Let's have a look over here. Does he like Northern Lights? They do, but uh, not as much as you can see. So I'm not sure if the strain rating is that this is just the top of... Oh, there we go. 0 0.5. And that's 3. 0 0.5 and 3. So Northern Lights, not just yet. Because... Uh, our market is telling us that we only want this 3.5 Granddaddy Purple. So they're going to pay a pretty price for that. Right. So we're going to head back into our building. Or it's called a built because it's finished being building. I'm not going to get into that. It wants us to, let's have a look here. Set nutrition of all super lemon haze to 7 nitrogen and 1 phosphorus. So we're going to click on that. We're going to push X one more time to get us to this little menu here. And then we're going to go over here. This, oh, oh <laughs> again, push X, then you have to move down and then use the analog stick to actually go. So we want seven, uh, what was the other one? Seven, one. Uh, damn it, where are you going? Oh boy, there we go. Seven nitrogen and one phosphorus. Okay, so seven nitrogen and one phosphorus. And now we need to find out which one of these blocks gives us the highest rating. That's pretty much what it is. So I'm going to go all the way down to two. Then I'm going to use the triangle button to select where the thing is jumping up and down. Select all plants like this. Now, the only time you can tell what the quality is going to be is after you water it. So as you can see over here, the dot is on the first line and the quality is just below that. So we're going to start time normally and we're going to tend to our Reggies over here. Just like that. And the music is absolutely amazing. We grew up with a lot of hip hop when we were younger. And we turn it to trance heads, but uh, amazing. So now watch this. There's two ways to tell what's happening here. So there'll be a little number coming up above that. Oh, it's just saving. 11 of 15 is the quality. As you can see, it jumped all the way up after I watered it. Because the quality is in the water that you're feeding it, watering it. So as you can see right here, if I click on any one of my SLH plants, if you look on the right-hand side, it still says common. So I need to get this to uncommon because... Oh, tweak potassium to produce 50 grams of lemon has uncommon quality. So we're going to have a look over here. I want to go back down to one. Uh, let me just have a look at the notes I made. I'm just going to pause this while we while we do this because uh, I need to get this right. S712 seems to be a good one. Let's go to three on that and then apply to all. And then stop the I'll start the time again. That was perfect. What is that now? Oh, there's no watering, so I cannot tell the quality of the plant. These ones are going to be just fine. There's no more watering required for them. And there we go. Let's head out and do some selling. You can just hold down triangle the whole time to do that. Um, now, I do want to expand because I need a spot. Or maybe I could take away one of the Reggie's. Oh, I can water that. Um, if I take away one of the Reggies and put it with the purple, maybe we'll have a look at a, once these guys are done. And I'll pause it. No more watering required for you guys. And these guys are still common quality. I can't do any better lights yet. So once we just to mess around with it to get the right quality. So I'll have a look at that in a second. But I can't do it now because I can't water these anymore. So I have to wait until they've been harvested. Let's uh, do some trimmings while we wait and fast forward. The second we can do something, we're going to not stop the time, just go at normal time. Oh, messed it up. Oh, sherbet. Okay, so now we're going to harvest, harvest, harvest. Now we're going to put it on pause. <clears throat> I wonder if I should just change one of these. So if I click on there, I go to the pot, I can select these one. Oh, I haven't bought them yet, so I've got 8,000. 
8,600. So we got 5,000 and 7,000. I think because it wants me to do that, let's do the tweaking first. So we know this is pretty close. Uh, I'm going to put this one down to one. Uh, I'm not going to say apply to all. This one I'm going to put onto two. And this one I'm going to put onto three. Now you could do this other ways like I was doing before. Uh, three, let's do it four because it's ready on that one. So now we're going to start the time and we're going to plant and we're going to fast forward. The second we water, we'll know which one's the closest to the optimal settings. Uh, let's wait for the trimming to go. There we go. So we'll pause it. We'll not pause it. Let's get these guys going again. Okay, see, so here we go. Uh, I can just push it once. So that's going to be 10 or 15. This one is going to be 11. So he's best so far. This one's going to be... What was that one? I didn't see it. Okay, we're going to have a look here. So 10, and this is 11, and this one is 10. So this one over here is the highest. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on that, and we're going to say apply to all. So now they're all the closest they can be. Now we're just going to move them one more time. So for this plant, uh, on one of them, let's make it, so that one was three. Let's put it onto four. And put this one onto, I don't think it's going to be that way. We'll put it down to one just for the hell of it. And this one is still going to be, oh, what are we going to do? I want to find out right now. Now let's just water it and trim it, see? Still 11, that's fine. This one, he went down. And that was my highest one. So let's put, oh, that has to be 7-1. Let's put that on three again. That's on 10, that's on 10, that's on 11. Okay, so this one is now the best. We're gonna say apply to all, 712. See, that's that's what I've got in my notes here as last time. Apparently it is meant to be randomized, but uh, not this time. Uh, as you can see, it's still, oh, there we go. If you click on the plant, look on the right-hand side, estimated quality is uncommon. And this one, uncommon, and this one, uncommon. That's all we needed to do, was to get it to uncommon. So that is pretty much what took me a while to figure out as well was uh, doing them separately. Doing three plants at three different uh, amounts. And then the closest one, or the best one that you have, then you make them all that one, and then you go from that point again. And you change them. And one of them is going to have to be better than the next one if you're moving them. So that's pretty much how I got them in the end, like that. So we're uncommon, and the mission we need is to produce 50 grams. Okay, so we just need to produce... We're going to get these guys going again. There we go. Yeah, keep the watering. We'll do a bit of a water there. He's 11. They're all going to be 11. Um, we, have, yeah, we do have someone who wants to purchase. Yeah, give me the monies. We've got 102 grams and 450 grams of reg, which is pretty good. Um, if I go to the market again, I go down to money and I go to reg over here. You can see... Uh, wait, wait, why is he on there? Why is that costing him 18? Oh no, that's... <laughs> Wait a minute. He's getting the SLH. He's getting the SLH. And he should be getting the reg. Oh, I need to expand activity. Okay, so I want to expand activity right there. What this means is I can now sell the reg and the SLH from here. So, we're going to be dropping the reg in there. Because, also there's no, there's no um, competition. So I want to put it up to 9. No, so 2.5, 3.5... And there's no competition at the moment, so there's no need to make it any less than their threshold, which is eight bucks at the top right there. Okay, so let's leave it at that. Let's look at these guys. They're still SLA rating. We've still got a lot of that there. And the common is 18. That's fine. Ignored by this group. Let's uh, get the monies in here and get back to my plants, even though there's still some selling to do there. I'm just going to pause it and do this. Because uh, this playthrough, I promised myself that I would do everything I can to the plants to make them as best as possible because uh, something was amiss when I when I started playing the other times. Okay, uh, so it's a pity we can't do anything while it's on pause, but we're going to go water and cut at the same time. He's only level 5, which is not ideal. These guys just need to be trimmed. And this is what we need for our goal. Oh, shit, we don't want to do that. Oh, that was a mess up. Don't know how I messed that up. Let's fast forward. 
for everything. There we go. Lots of things to do. And this guy just needs a trim. Now, you can get employees to do this later. But like I was saying, there is a downside to it. And I will get into that potentially on one of my next ones. Depending on how this video does, I'll, I might just... Oh, I messed it up. I might just do a, a full playthrough. Why is this not working, kitty? I know you're hungry. I'll feed you in a second. All right, I'm going to go feed my cat. I will be right back. Okay, she is fed and watered. Now, we've got some more trimming to do here. So let's do that. And this is just for the Reggie. Oh, we have some smelly plants going there. There we go. Harvest. 50 super hay. So there we go. We're going to plant that sucker again. Sell 150 grams of super lemon haze of at least common quality. Okay, so now it wants us to sell it, which is, you know, ideal. Uh, this one still needs a trim. This one's still happening. So we're just going to go outside and grab this. 960 bucks. Yo. Some upper class vagrants there. So we're just going to have a look over here uh, at these three. Again, these guys, they're like the Super Lemon Haze. And uh, that is what is being offered to them over here. There we go. And we don't have any competition. So, I mean, that is 2.5. If I go up one, it takes it down to two. Yeah, we'll just keep it at 18, 2.5. That's fine. 1,000 bucks right there. There we go. Let's go back inside to the planties. Oh. Smelly, smelly. This one we can trim and water. This one just trim. And let's get these guys planted. Let's have a look over here. We do 104 of 150. Now, I did come into a bit of a bug. Um, oh, I wanted to make one purple haze, didn't I? Uh, wait. So, at the bottom, we've got the northern lights and... The daddy, so the grandpa. Uh, let me just have a quick look over here. I just want to pause while I do this because I want to look at the marketplace for this. So the vagrants always going to want the Reggie. There's no doubt about that. Ooh, they do like Northern Lights. Okay. Okay, they like Northern Lights. Uh, these guys like Granddaddy, and these guys like the Super Lemon. Okay, so the Reggie. Uh, I could do a northern light, just one, just see what happens over here. Let's go inside. And I think I'll, I'll wait until after this harvest. Let's do that. Potentially take away one of the Reggies and put a... Uh, what was it? Oh, these names. I'm never going to get them. The northern lights for these guys. Because they like it. And could probably charge a bit more since he's got 900 bucks he's spending a week or something on it. Let's, uh, let's finish it off. Click, click, collect. So there's three clients and three collections you've got to do there. There we go. Done and dusted. Well done indeed. Making the grade. And a thousand bucks and some influence. Okay, see how we go onto these soils now. Things are about to get dirty. Uh -huh. Anyway. Okay, we're going to skip this. Uh, you can have a read of that. It's just backstory, really. Okay, so... Grow three plants using better grow medium. And uh, let's start with that. I'm going to go in there. First, we're going to cater to the needy over here. By doing... Oh, there we go. Let's do him. Oh, and a little bit more water. We can come back to them afterwards. Now, on the PC version, I was told you can do this... Uh, the, the, the pot swapping while it's here so if you look over here click on the plant up here we've got a pot over there but i can't seem to do it see i can select that but i can't go to the right to select a different medium so i click on that and it doesn't let me i have to wait until i think yeah so that's for that it's definitely going to be on that r1 you see it says r1 oh, there we go l Changes. Ah, there we go. So you push L3 in and it gets you to the menu. I can change the pot. Boonk. Just like that. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to pause. And we're going to do that to all of them. So we did that. No, we went onto the plant. And we went onto SLH. And we went onto change. Sure. What a schlep. As you can see over here, I'll show you on the next one. Um, you got to be careful because it increases the, the cop awareness. Come on. There we go. If you look on the right-hand side, it has a cop badge over there. Three up. 
So that's going to increase the, the, the cops' awareness of what's going on here, like the smell of the plant and stuff like that. But again, that will be a little later stage. So now it says, let's have a look at what we need. It says adjust the quality and price of super lemon haze in the marketplace. So jocks rated with 3.5. Now, the way to do this is with pricing. Let's just collect what we got here so far. Is the pricing, but also the quality. Like I was saying before, it's kind of like a, a mixed bag here. Okay, so let's just have a look. Adjust the quality, price of lemon haze in the marketplace, so 3.5 jocks. So we're going to go straight away down to the jocks over here. And oh no, we have to go into money. Sorry, I keep forgetting that. So we've gone to jocks. So right now, they rate this 2, and I've got a, comp uh, a guy here in competition. So what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the price. See, 2.5. Look at the top, top right-hand corner. So if I go up, it goes to 2.5. If I go down, it goes to 3. Can I get one more? There we go. Now I can say something, if I hadn't taken such good care of the plants in the beginning with the training and the watering, this wouldn't be enough. I would need to increase the quality of the plant as well as reduce my price. So as you can see over here, this fella is selling it for 19 and he's got rare. I'm selling for uncommon and I'm selling it for 14, but as long as my 3.5 is there, I'm happy. So get rid of Sean Bunch, Sean's Bunch at the marketplace. Now, you can go talk to them and stuff like that if you click uh, X again, you move across over here to competition. This is the guy. So you can have a conversation with him. You can learn to uh, drag up dirt on him, to blackmail him. There are lots of other things you can do here, but I'm not going to get into this right now because mainly this guy will disappear if you out uh, quality him, if you will, <laughs> with your plants. So he'll disappear because you've got still fairly good product uh, at a cheaper price. And so let's take care of the needed again. There we go. And there we go. Look at those beautiful guys. Okay, so everything's okay. We can water this now and we can water this now. Look at my quality on this, 11 to 15. But if you look at the little bar underneath, it is way higher than it's ever been in my other playthroughs. Well, like I say, I only played like an hour and a half or something. But um, yeah, the taking care of the plants, trimming them like this, training them is all the difference. It's all the difference. So here we go. We take care, oh, that's, Oh, how's that, eh? It saved as I was doing it, and it just made it jumble. Anyway, let's do what we can for these guys. Now we've got some spare time. We're going to head outside and just grab the moolah. And again, you can have someone standing over here, and we'll get into this in a second, collecting that money. So I don't have to come out here every time and collect the money. It's all automatic. But like I was saying before, there are some downsides to having uh, staff members look after the plants. Because for starters... They're not as skilled as you can be with getting this perfect every time until they increase their training. And then there's research as well. I'm super amped to see where it goes now that I've got the basics down of it because it was super confusing at the start. But at the moment, we're looking pretty good. So I just want to have a look at what this is on here. Is it just the strains? Yeah. Oh, this is where I buy the strains. Okay, so I've got 17,000. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get the Northern Lights because, and again, I'm just going to check. A lot more time has passed since uh, you think it has because there's cuts in the video. So I want to make sure that my my uh, people over here, they do like the Northern Lights. Yes. Okay. So let's do that. We're going to get some Northern Lights in here. Probably take away this Reggie right here. So let's fast forward super fast. Oh, no. We've got some trimming to do. Let's do that. And let's do that. And let's do that. They don't need any more water. This guy can be trimmed. Sorry, I was clearing my throat a bit there. I'll stop doing that. Oh, and I messed it up. Okay, so we're going to fast forward until these guys are harvested. And then I think we're going to get another strain going here. And again, don't miss an opportunity to trim or train, if you will. Just know that when I say trim, I mean train and trim. It's just the same thing. So we're going to harvest him. Now what we're going to do, since he's the first one out the gate, we're going to change him. So we're going to go planting over here. We can choose our strain. So we go to the store and we're going to buy the Northern Lights. Yes, sir. Then we're going to make sure it's got the good soil, which it does. And then we're going to say, we're going to say plant is what we're going to do. Oh, he has started already. Fantastic. So he's got the, oh no, that's in that one. So that is the Northern Lights. Let's fast forward. Oh, we've got some plants going mad over there. Okay, now should I do two? I think two Reggies and two 
Northern Lights might be good. The problem with this is, guys, uh, later on, it's always good to have the same kind of plant in the same room because they have the same uh, requirements, heat, humidity, and, uh, well, temperature, the same thing. They have the same requirements, pretty much. And if you start mixing the plants up like this, I've got Reggie here, I've got Northern Lights here, and SLH over here. This can become a problem a bit later, but at the moment, it's still working fine. We're just going to keep trucking on over here. Oh, here we have a trim. These guys start training early, hey? <laughs> here we go. We can water, then trim straight away. And then water straight away. Oh, this one I should have waited. Oh, that was weird. Didn't work out. Let's water him anyway. Okay, so the quality is looking pretty good. That's uncommon quality. Uh, if you look at the bottom uh, down here, I don't have any northern lights over there. So we're going to have to wait. We don't have any reg either. So let's go. Oh, sure, but my plant is smelling. Let's get him going there. Plant him straight away again. This is the one I want to change to Northern Lights. Because, oh, damn it. Because if the regs will buy that, then uh, I can stop selling them the cheaper weed. Let's click the moolah. Click all the moolah. You can actually see there's a enforcement hand above that. Okay, so we're going to put it on pause quickly. I hate the way you have to fast forward it to get to the pause. But anyway, let's go over here and go to the money and see how we're doing here. So with the Regis, uh, with the Reg, we've got 80. As you can see, uh, let's see at the top, it says ignored by this group, which is a bit weird. Oh, because there's nothing in stock. But it would be top. If it was there, it would be top. I have to get some stock in there at the Reg to see. This one over here, we are top. We're ahead of this guy. He's got 14. This is four and two to you 2.5 i'm gonna go down to three and sell it for 11 just to kick this guy out of the runnings here because mine is rare and it's cheaper let's just go 2.5 and these guys the jocks i've got rare selling at 12 bucks and he's got 19 so i'm top of the list here and that's where we want to be we're going to kick him out soon let's get back in here and see what we can do here we can water and trim same time yeah the reason why i'm messing it up is because you have to hear the clicking just looking at the number doesn't really help okay so that one we're going to change to although i don't know if i want to because oh damn it if they if i change this to northern lights then the reg is pointless Let's just have a look and see where we go here. Let's change this to Northern Lights, one feels. We don't want to do that one. We're going to go to Northern Lights. Start growing. Now, we still don't know the pH level of this. That's still uncommon. That's just lucky. So I haven't changed anything on these... On the Northern Lights strain. Oh, my God. Because, um, yeah, I haven't played around with the nitrates. Why am I doing that too long? So let's try and do this better. Yeah, if I just don't talk when I'm doing it, I'll get it right. Okay, let's have one more trimming over here. And a water here, and we're going to head out. Yep, so we've got some big bucks coming in there. Now we should be able to kick the other guy out. At some point, he should have been gone by now. So I, I need to get the Reg in there to get him out. So Reg is top of the list. This group's number three. Yeah, the SLH. I just need stock. That's what I need. I need good harvests. Yeah, much better when I can hear the sound. Yeah, I mean, what that does really, it increases the quality, but also reduces the time it takes for cultivation. Oh, those are good plants. My SLH is doing well. I love how they look different as well. It's pretty cool. I mean, they are different species. So same spe different species, different strain, different strains. So we've got Northern Lights, Northern Lights, SLH, SLH, and luckily they all require the same temperature. So these, this is not a bad uh, growing for these ones. And we can water straight away. Get in there, sir. What else we got here? So we can water, can't water, can't water. Uh, let's fast forward. Just for a couple of seconds. You don't want to miss a training or trimming. I'm just going to say training from now on. 
So we got uh, some water available here. So let's fast forward and water away. We desperately need some stock of the reg over there. So we're going to fast forward until we can do both. Uh, let's just water it and trim. I need max harvest out of these guys and they're going to be good. These guys are still poor. I haven't tried to change, mess around the settings with these. And let's just see if there was something I wrote down here and uh, see which one of these it is. Let's have a look here. So this one says that uh, the red should be 843. Let's, uh, let's just do what it says. Uh, let's put it on pause for a second here while I do this. Uh, 843. So we're going to go down for three. Are we going to say apply to all of the ridges? And we'll only know when we water it. So let's trim these guys. We need to make some sales here. There we go. So that's the northern light. Now I need to go out and make sure the northern light is for sale under the one that likes it the most. So it was these guys pushing L button in and it says northern light is top of their list. So we're going to come down here and we're going to take stop selling the reg. No. Mm, the spot we need to expand activity to sell the third one. Um, let's just see. So those I am above them though. It's still eight bucks for that and the SLH there, but I got no stock of either of them. Mm, and he would buy that. So I think let's see if I take away the SLH, then these guys see that these bastards are top of the list. I just need stock. Let's just get some stock in here. Water, water, plant, harvest, plant. We can trim you. Train. There we go. So now we have 100 grams of reg. So we will get some purchases of that. We got some SLH back there as well. That's pretty good. Uh, let's fast forward. Oh, let's pause. There we go. Another one's done. I mean, he's still. Why is that telling me? I thought the quality was better. Okay, we got customers who want to purchase. Let's go grab it. And five. See, no stock. So now I'm thinking I need more stock. Uh, there we go. I knew it happened in the end. So that's what it is. Just increase your quality and, uh, well, have, have stuff to sell. Because that was my, my downside. That's why I took a bit longer right there. High stakes, done and dusted. Okay, let's move on. Now we have a small fan. Uh gives us more control over our environment new lights as well let's get into it again storyline based uh it's just explaining what's happening next okay so here we go into the farm let's see what we need buy a new lighting so we're going to head up to the top over there we're going to select down one and then select the lighting which is ironically 420 and that's just telling me the competition moved out so we're going to get two lights Two is better than one. There we go. And now it wants us to place small fan in your in your room. So uh, two northern lights, two SLH, two reg. So I mean, uh, let's just do this while we wait. To all of them, because so there's one, two, three, go. Uh, having a look at the bottom, uh, we can still water that. Let's plant that. Let's water that. See, it wants me to replace this with a fan. But uh, I kind of want to just harvest this first. Because there ain't no rush. And actually, one of the things I did do the first time was, because it took me such a long time to pass these objectives, I had like 98,000 bucks to spend when I got there. And then it, everything just went tits up. Because I didn't know what I was doing. But uh, I really took my time. I purposefully didn't complete like the small fan. I could sit here and make profit until I got 200k and then put down a small fan and continue. And that's definitely something I would consider doing. Uh, it was after the hiring of people, let's see here. It was, yeah, after you hire people, then things start getting a little bit more complicated with uh, having to talk to uh, rivals and talk to the cops, bribe the cops, that kind of thing, or befriend them, however you, you want to slice it. It does get more complicated and having the extra cash definitely doesn't hurt. Okay, there we go. They're all watered. I'm only going to change them out <laughs> when it's been harvested. So let's fast forward. Saving. 
wait for the water to come up as well there we go so trimming no point in destroying that plant here we go and water 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 done trimming for you trimming and training no more water required for you guys there we go okay we're gonna fast forward again because as you can see at the bottom oh you can't see it now if just show me over here yeah I've got, I've got zero all i've got is the the northern lights stock so luckily at the moment uh, my, i don't have any goals that require me to change that but let's uh let's truck on keep trucking and we're going to find that we're going to need to get some more of the stock out. Oh, I messed it up. Okay, we're almost there. We're just going to fast forward here. Look at them grow. There we go. So we're going to harvest, harvest. This one we're going to replant. This one we're going to trim. This one we're going to harvest and replant straight away. This one we're going to trim. This one we're going to trim. Oh, and I messed it up. Okay, so here we want to change this. If you look up there, I'm looking up and down, you see there's now, that's like equipment. Bang. We're going to put a small fan there. Now, I just want to see what the next objectives are, because I might want to do what I was saying. So, it says set temperature. I have to push R2 on the console and aim down and set that to 19. Now, suddenly it works. I had to exit and then come back in. Uh, it seemed to be a little bit bugged there. But uh, let's pause this again for a second. Hire an employee and assign them to two activities. Now, this is actually a bit misleading. It actually means, um, well, you can assign one employee to two separate things, but you kind of don't want to. I mean, maybe at the, at the early stages you do. Let's just show you what I'm talking about. So down here, bottom right-hand corner, we've got employees. So you can talk to them and everything and find out more about them, and you will get to know them anyway because they're going to ask for raises pretty soon. But uh, for starters, I like to get uh, someone that has the ability to sell and to get information. So... This over here, if you click on him, he's going to tell you over down here that selling and interpersonal. So you want someone to be able to dig up dirt on someone as well. Oh, I've lost it. To dig up dirt. So if they're going to be on the street, they need to be streetwise. So it's going to be selling. I want to hire this fellow right here because he does have one on the selling, but so do you, Gage, Mark Diaz. Let's hire him. And now we're going to head outside. This took me a while to figure out as well. Wow. So on my building over here, where I normally push square to go inside, you push X. Then over here, you're going to have your buildings. So over here, well, this is your, your homegrown. So we need an employee. So you're going to push X one more time and then go all the way across over here to employee. Click on that, then go down to underground grow. We're going to select, assign him to there. And can we assign him to... No. So we have to assign him there. And then also assign him to the marketplace. We go, same thing, push X, go across to employee. Then, uh, oh, come on. Oh, my Lord. This is what got me at the start was, there we go. Dealer spot, and we're going to assign him there. So he's assigned in two places, and that's going to complete that environmental issues right there. All right, environmental issues are done. We now have a small air purifier. That's going to make it a bit easier to... Uh, negotiate the needs of our plants and different grows and stuff like that and the super smart light if you use too many lights it's going to get too hot but uh, you can adjust them accordingly there we go a new strain maui waui so that's 12k for that we'll get into that in a second so it's busy saving so again this is where the cops come in this is where things get a little bit more difficult uh, i would highly advise just saving your game uh, at the moment because yeah they're just telling you're talking about a skunk so you got 250 right there and that's the cop like the whereabouts they know where you are they can smell the house and stuff like that so we're gonna i want to pause that right there for a second and if we go you hold down the r button again r2 if you look on the bottom right hand corner that is your guy so we're going to click on him and this is where your research is so it wants us to research that so we can bribe cops or befriend them or something just you know have interactions with them uh, now be careful of what you want to buy and not buy here because uh, your money can run out very quickly so at the moment we're just going to do what is required from us with the objectives having a look over here set up a front in your business okay let's have a look at this okay so let's have a look at setting up a front for our shop i just want to go inside quickly and make sure all the plants are okay 
Uh, let's just put it on normal pace. See over here. This is what I was saying earlier. Look how long it's going to take him to actually snip this. But I can snip it. And it's done. And you will massively increase the rate at which you pump out items. I'm actually going to pause this for a second and actually see if I can unassign him. Oh, damn it. I want to unassign him from doing this because I'll be doing this. So let's go to the house. Let's go across to employees. And we're going to release him from there because you want him to be a street guy. And if you look on the bottom left hand corner down here, this is where your guys increase in their ability. So up here, you can research. Well, sorry, when they get experience, you'll have points to spend. And for this guy, I want to be selling is going to be his top one. And then I could potentially have another guy or research this as well so you can get information and then have the growers inside at a later stage when they are uh, better, uh, better qualified. So let's go into the grow room right there. Uh, we're looking at the plants again. I just want to make sure I'm keeping on top of this. Okay, good. So we can pause that again. And it wants us to set up a front for our business. So we're going to come outside again. And once again, push X on the building. Then push X on the house. And we're going to come all the way down. Now these are the rooms. A sign room, a sign room. And those two are grow rooms. So over here, we have two spots available. We can go a sign room as a dealer's corner. So they can actually buy from a house or underground grow. Or down here is tea room, pizza restaurant, and so on. So for starters, we're just going to choose the tea room as a front. And what this is going to do, as you can see right there, reduces the cop awareness of your business. The police awareness. So if you look over here, I click on that. Look at the, the cop, uh, the red line going all the way down. Now, to actually get this to go down while you're playing, it's the same as trimming or training your plants. You hold down the button for the right amount of time and it reduces the, the cop's awareness. So let's say buy an air purifier for your grow room. So let's go into the building again. Now, we've got a nice setup here. We've got the, the NIs right there, uh, Northern Lights, sorry. And we've got the Reg right there. And we have the SLH right there. So I just want to have a look outside and have a look at what's happening with our guys. So we're going to go to the selling. So we are number one right there on the uncommon one. And for these guys, we are number one as well because there is no competition. <laughs> and this is number four. So... I can actually increase the price of this. As you can see here, it was on 12. Look in the top right under jocks. Four, still four, still four, 3.5. So I'm going to take it up to 15 and make sure that's still good. So over here, this is not as good, but it's still, if you can go up and keep it 1.5, might as well do it. Then these guys as well, eight bucks to 2.5. Let's keep it at eight bucks. So let's keep it like that. Let's go back into the... No, what do we need to do? The air purifier. Okay, so we're going to head into the building. Now, it could cost us 3500 to expand. That's what we're going to do right now. Because I like where my plants are at the moment. So what I'm going to do here... I'm not going to use the bottom one over here for plant. Because as you can see, the R2 button over there is in the way. So this is a good place to put the purifier. There we go. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that so soon because as you can see, that's going to make things more confusing now. And it's going to be a lot of talking with the other dealers and trying to befriend them and find their weaknesses and their likes, dislikes, that kind of stuff. But uh, there it is. Cheese it. It's the cops. Done and dusted. There we go. Super smart pump. I've never seen a super smart pump. I've never even used these before. So potentially, uh, if I decide to continue this, this series, then I will keep the playthrough going. And... Uh, I'm going to stop this one right here. It's taking you through, as you can see, it's just giving some more story information. Taking you through the first six or seven quests. Six or seven. And over here, I want to pause for a second. And I look on the right-hand side over here. You've got to do a whole lot of things with bosses. Or with gang leaders and stuff like that. It doesn't seem to let me look at that. Let's exit. There we go. So, befriend... The Valhalla, Valhalla rechecks at least. So if on this screen, if I look around in circles, there are other buildings. So that's the cop building. Over here are the Valhalla rejects and stuff like that. You can have a look at where they are. But guys, yes, like I said, um, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all about this game, just ask me. Always going to reply. Pretty please smash that like button for me. Really helps the channel. And uh, if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments section because I'm definitely going to be playing more of it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to catch you on the next one.